Sometimes we have situations whereby clients uh, get themselves involved in projects to the point where they do what you don't want them to do. But when people come to use the place and they see this app, which contractor and architect did this thing for you? They don't open their mouth and tell them that, oh, it's me that insists that it yeah. should be like this for me. It's my engineer. Yeah, it's my engineer. <laughs> yeah, it's, my, it's my architect. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's what it is. Welcome to this episode. My name is Isaac. I'm here with Mr. Richard and uh, Mr. Steven. Yeah. And we are here again to educate. So today we are looking at things we need to consider when we want to involve uh, an architect in most of our projects. Yeah. So in our previous video, we looked about two points. Uh, which Mr. Richard is going to help us uh, brief a little bit about it. Yeah. So today also we also have uh, extra two point for you. So don't move. Keep uh, in touch with your device, and whilst we give you this update. Yeah, Mr. Richard, yeah. welcome once again. Yeah, thank yeah you. welcome. Yeah. So. Uh, Please, let's, let, let's quickly do a short review on our last video. Okay, the yeah. previous video we talked about uh, uh, terms of connection, long term or short term. Or short term, term yeah. On how you want to deal with the uh, architect. Yeah. And we talked about budgets and time frame exactly. on the side of architects and uh, clients. Yeah. And today we will be talking about decision making. Good. We will be talking about decision making. And then we are looking at uh, architectural stuff. All right. All right. And so implementation. Good. Good. So these are the so two points. So those are the two points we'll be, we'll about be discussing today. today. Yeah. Uh -huh. So viewers, I hope you are ready for today's edition. It will be very, 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 very excited. Fun. Yeah. And Mr. Richard is a guru. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a guru. So as I told you the last time, most of projects that you see uh, on our videos, sorry, in our videos. Uh, he is the mastermind behind it. He is the mastermind behind it. And uh, you see how mind-blowing they are, how beautiful they are, yeah. So whenever you want to undertake any of these projects, don't hesitate to just involve us, just call us so that we do these nice designs for you. So. Let's begin with action. Yeah, Mr. Richard. Yeah, let's start. Yeah, um, let's start with uh, architectural style and okay. implementation. Okay. So when it comes to architectural style, we have so many architectural styles that you can mention. We have the contemporary, we have the modernism, we have the ones with a Afrocentric kind of design, wow. which involves our local elements. We have the classical, the gothic and then the others there are so many architectural styles out there but what we mostly deal here uh, deal with here is contemporary style and modernism what's the difference uh, modernism is more or less uh, of the glazed house and then the uh, concrete way of constructing oh, okay like straightforward box box oh okay, okay. Yeah, okay. but okay. the contemporary okay. has to do with blending natural elements and then the uh, exotic material, which is concrete. Oh, okay. Blocks, yeah. oh, okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. So let's pick it one by one. Let's pick it one by one because uh, our viewers <laughs> want to learn more. Yeah. So, <laughs> what we are here for is uh, as a client, once you get an architect, you should be able to identify which architectural style you want to uh, go with. All right. Yeah, sometimes clients need to re uh, research on buildings first before approaching the clients. That makes uh, uh, approaching the architect, the architect and it makes yeah. our work easier as well. Once we know your style, then we know which direction we are designing uh, towards. Yeah. So what happens is uh, if the client really doesn't understand uh, or have a clear mind of what he or she wants, 
you the architect will be designing and the clients will be changing designing changing yeah, designing yeah. changing and we do experience and that and yeah, sometimes the architects get angry when you yeah. keep changing yeah yeah, yeah. i want i want to start stepping to 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 come in mr stepping we do experience those things a lot yeah yeah please tell us t- tell us something about it yeah. so like i said earlier on when um you you've give uh, the design is given out yeah. and then construction is on ongoing since the uh, um, the client doesn't have more details of their design yeah. most of the times they come in every day for a changes and it affects their budget but at the time they are talking about the changes they have forgotten that it's, it's going to affect the budget so the whole thing bounced to them they should get their self ready well do some little research and if you want the architect to do the research for you that one no problem oh architect do this and that for me and then he will bring you um, um the first phase of it to look at it steady well so at the time the first concept is given to you that is when you have to also study like you are in a classroom you need to study the entire drawing to see where you can do change so that after the the design is done there will be no change again what to do next is pure construction to finish it and you will love the building nice nice so that means here the client has a responsibility here yes so everything the project belongs to you so you have the responsibility of getting yourself involved yeah you don't wait that to the point where things get out of hand before you be blaming the architect and then the uh, contractor no you have a role to play as a client as well you have to be involved yeah uh, i always say this what is important to you is what you pay attention to yeah exactly yeah, so if you don't pay your attention to your own design then what are you doing likewise i'm an architect i enjoy what i do so if you as a client you want to meet me to discuss if it's 5 30 it's 5 30. i'm there i don't have to come and be waiting for you yeah once you do that you've already given me the impression that okay you yourself you are not serious, serious about what you yeah. want for yourself <laughs> and sometimes the energy the clients bring on board also excites with the architects to even do more yeah because the joy we do, I, I don't know how I'm going to explain this feeling, but when, 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 money, when money is standing out, it's just when money is involved. Not <laughs> just money, but like uh, the reason why sometimes some contractors don't want to have the architect on board. Sometimes they tell the client, I don't need the architect on board. Not for any reason. Architects enjoy to see what the design come out the way it is. But contract some contractors want to cut corners and make more profit for themselves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Even if you are a contractor, you bring me on board to represent you, and you are not doing the right thing for the clients. I wouldn't mind walking away. Yeah. Because it's not only going to tarnish the contractor's image; it's going to tarnish my your as image well. as well. Yeah. So once you are not ready to do the right thing, because you can't be paying me to uh, assist you and at the end of the day my service is not needed but you are paying me for it what am i doing there yeah, so yeah. once you are not ready to pay uh, you are not ready to take instructions on what to do i won't help you cut corners yeah that's why i've been working with these shoes because they know i know they won't cut corners exactly. if they are willing to, they are going to cut corners so i don't care who <laughs> you are walking away yeah. which 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 you are not going to do no, that no, no, no. yeah <laughs> i know you are not going to do that yeah, yeah. so architecture style is really important uh, as well yeah and so uh, I, I wanted before you move on uh the clients on the part of the client where does uh, his involvement stops. Uh, his involvement stops when construction stops. Oh, okay. Yeah, because uh, quality control on the project depends on the client too as well. Because we are going to select material. Sometimes when you are going to uh, uh, select even units, sometimes you need to go to the market with the clients. Yeah, you oh, need okay. to go to the 
uh, market with the clients the clients will say okay i don't like this quality of towels or okay this one is too expensive for me i can afford this i can afford this so let's go with this when it comes to uh, installations maybe sink wc's and all yeah. this sometimes the clients need to be involved the color of uh, those items how you want it to be the clients need to be involved other than that but th these things are they not stated in the design they are there but you know uh, we are in a modern era okay. new designs and new uh, this uh, modifications are coming out every now and then that's yeah. why we architects too we always update ourselves yeah, oh, we are okay. already we are always online researching on new things that are out there. You may see uh, a finishing material today. Tomorrow another finishing material is out there, which All is right. even better than the, than the previous one. Ones. Yeah, yeah, right. So these are the uh, aspects where the clients need to be involved in doing these selections. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that so, means if you want to go in yeah. into building, yeah. so you need to involve yourself from the design, from design up to, to construction. Yeah. So you see any yeah, Mr. Steven. Yeah. Uh, one client that we are putting up a project for, which is a real estate. Every single thing the client will give you the what to do, because he has involved himself into the job. Color of the wall, towels, every kind of selection for the finishing okay. has been involved. We all the consultant will ask, this is what we want to do. Then bring your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Then he will bring his view that this is what I want us to do. This is what I want us to do. Contractor, what we also give our view. He do his selections. So he's hundred percent involved into the project. Every time he calls, this is what I, I've gotten let's do this let's do that so it's been exciting that the client has involved himself into the project that everyone knows that this one is okay and there will be no change later so, so all these things we are discussing now falls under decision yeah. making yeah. so sometimes uh, not all things that the client will say that okay i want this then you uh, agree with it uh, upfront or straightforward because sometimes if it's your personal uh, for your personal use you can choose to do whatever you want with it but let's say you are putting up something like a commercial space are you planning to build apartments in ghana is it one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom or four bedroom are you planning to build up a school are you planning to build up an hospital how about bridges hotels, event centers, or any sort of community projects. The Source Company Limited got you covered. We are here to design with you, build, and complete your projects for you. And we do this at an affordable price. Kindly call us on their numbers you can see on your screen. Call any of them. You can even WhatsApp us. We always got you covered. We are ready for you. We are ready to give you a nice project. Thank you. Maybe it's a hotel. And you know, uh, for facility like that, you are looking at making money. So you should have a broader perspective on what material and uh, what not to use you can't bring your personal feelings into spaces like that when it comes to material selection and others we have neutral colors that everybody can relate with yeah but there are some colors you can use it on your facility people will not come in just oh, okay. because they don't appreciate it yeah so that's why when you look at uh, most of these uh, well-known hotels they yeah are, uh, have they have specific colors that they work with between grey, uh, cream, brown, uh, some things that like have natural feel, uh, feel white and all this, you don't see them using maybe blue, green, yeah. and all this like that because yeah, it's, it's, it's like you are bringing your personal uh, feeling into the into space. The, yeah. 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 So if it comes to residential, 
and the client want this. Uh, why not? But when it comes to public spaces like that, sometimes you need to be extra care, uh, conscious. You have to advise. That's why we are here to advise uh, clients to exactly. the clients. Exactly. Yeah. If I tell you this is not, will not uh, break customers or it will tear people away. Uh, don't do it. You should be able to. Uh, compromise free yeah. and compromise on some of these things. Not insist that okay, I'm the one providing the money, so do what I want. Do. Exactly. So when it happens that way, what do you do? Oh, if the client insists, uh, I, just, I want to rent. No, 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 I just walk away. Yeah. You, 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 you're not no, continuing. No, I, I won't continue with it. After all, I'm not the one constructing. I'm just giving my uh, professional advice. So if it's not needed, why should I be there? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what will be the benefit when all these things goes in, in, in place? Okay, when these things all fall in place, uh, it promotes my way. At the same time, the clients also have uh, maximum use of these investments. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, I should, you should feel free and walk into your house and say, okay, what I've spent is worth it not complain when you see sometimes we have situations whereby clients uh, get themselves involved in projects to the point where they do what you don't want them to do but when people come to use the place and they see this ah which contractor and architect did this thing for you they don't open their mouth and tell them that oh, it's me that insists Insist, that yeah. it should be like this for me. It's my engineer. Yeah, it's my engineer. <laughs> it's, my, it's my architect. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's what they see. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Saying, I'm the one who insists that it should be like this. Okay, let, let, let me go to Mr. Steven. So, Mr. Steven, what will be the benefit when uh, clients uh, do their needful, when architects also try to also uh, uh, do their work well? The engineers, what, what, what is the benefit there? Oh, okay. So mostly when you have architect on your projects and every information that you need, uh, they are always providing it for you. So it's just like a Bible you are reading every day. Every day you go to your Bible, you read it, and you get maybe solution to whatever you are reading. Something like that. So all the time there is an information for you you the engineer you will not be thinking far you will not be cracking your brain 100 percent to do something better but th there is already a manual for you that you look at it you study it together with the architect you look at it too but you study it together with the architect to all agree and sometimes we do changes so that changes the architect will be of known that is what I want to change. Then the architect say, okay, I agree with you. Or let's do it this way rather. So it's one on one thing. So always there is happiness on site until the project comes to completion. And when the project comes to completion, uh, at the side of contractor, bit of his, in, the, his team, everyone will be happy to have this project come to stay, this project, come to existence so, so uh, it's changes there, they are meant to happen oh yes but you know we are architects when you tell me about a change i just don't i can't just get up and say okay go ahead and do it yes that's why we have 3d perspectives yeah. so i would affect the changes that you want on the design and let's see uh, how okay. it is where it plays out if it doesn't place out well then there's other options that we have that we can try out. We try it out, then we all go home uh, happy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, viewers, I'm here with Mr. Steven, he's a building engineer. Yeah, and also uh, Mr. Richard, which is uh, who is also an architect. Yeah. So they are engineers. They are engineers. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a difference. Eh? Oh, okay. So, who are you then? Not uh, easy. I think uh, that's one challenge we do have on the field. When you say I'm, I'm an architect, somebody will tell you you're an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We have, we have uh, different fields of engineering. We have electrical engineering, we have 
technical yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. 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 But architects uh, uh, architect do not form part of this. Yeah, architects uh, yeah. do not form part of the engineers. But like you should be you uh, architects do have uh, broader knowledge. Yeah, okay. Because uh, architects are trained to be the head of the construction and design team. Okay. They have basic knowledge in all those oh, areas. Yeah. So sometimes we the architect specify the column spacing. So you the engineer have to uh, make it work. You have to say okay, this is the reinforcement type we have to use, this is the column size we have to use. If I so insist that okay, the column size we are bringing in would uh, affect uh, the final results. So redo this for me or when it comes to the part of the electrical engineer I will tell you, okay, where you are placing your fire is going to affect this or that. We find a way to I'm doing it. Uh, so we all pay to agree on one thing. Even lighting, I can tell you, okay, I want the light here. I want this here, this here, chandelier here. And that is how uh, the field is. So we have basic knowledge in all other areas. Okay, so that's Mr. Richard for you. But when it comes to the Swiss, he's an engineer. <laughs> So that is it. Mr. Richard, thank you very much. Thank you very much for honoring our invitation. Today you've enlightened us a lot. Yeah. Not only me, but also my viewers as well. Yeah. So on behalf of my viewers too, I'll say how you could you've done a great job. Mr. Steven, thank you too. Yeah, thank you too for making uh, this program an excited one. So viewers, uh is the Sus again? Oh, you will not find it anywhere. It's only here. Yeah. So uh, always call us when it comes to building, and also when it comes to uh, advice, education. Yeah. So we are always ready for you. So whatever you want to do, whether it's being commercial, whether it's being residential, uh, whatever you want to do, just call us. Let's sit down. Let's judge all together. Let's invite the architect. Let's all conclude on one thing so that at the end of the day, you will not lose your money. Nowadays, money is very, very hard to come uh, into contact with. It's very difficult to get money. So we are here to place value on your money. Uh -huh. So please, contact us so that we undertake your project for you. We are going to do a very beautiful work for you. And... We are going to make you happy as well yeah when you are happy we are also happy yeah so uh, hello viewers this month it is our goal to hit thousand plus subscribers without you we cannot get up to this stage so therefore kindly do us this help by subscribing to our channel hitting the notification bell you can see on your screen to help us achieve our goal. If you've not subscribed yet, kindly do that. If today is your first time also joining us, kindly do that as well for us, so that together we all move. Thank you.